Coaches, this is a video that's gonna show you how to sync coach pads from the press box to the sideline. You can see I'm up here in the, up by a press box. Today's demonstration, I'm gonna use a large coach pad and a mini. Uh, the large one down the sideline, the mini up in the press box, just thinking that the, the press box will be cramped, maybe smaller. I can draw on the mini in the press box. Kids wanna see it nice and big on the larger coach pad down on the sideline. You could use any combination that you want. I'm just gonna show a big and a small. You could have multiple big ones, multiple small ones, a combination for your game day experience. Coach, there's just a couple things that need to happen in order to sync between devices. First of all, we need to be on a Wi-Fi network up in the press box and then on the sideline. 2.4 gigahertz is the frequency that these work on, your Wi-Fi. Most uh, Wi-Fi's in a stadium go between five gigahertz and 2.4. Your hotspot on your phone, you need to make sure that you have access to 2.4 gigahertz on there, and that's just through your settings on your phone. The other thing that both devices need to be on is the same account. So you, you see the account by going down to settings. So I'll go to settings on both of these, and you'll see I have game day sync is the, the name I gave it. Okay, on both devices and you can change that by going here on both of these and you can edit maybe a name, a nickname and uh, on both devices but they both have to be on the same account and I use an email account, some of you are very familiar, I have another video showing how to do this but I'm sorry, uh, but you, you know here's my other account, I also have my CoachPad account which is the, uh, my personal one and then I'm using the Game Day Sync for game day uh, syncing of, of play. So you guys can set that up however you want. And once you have that stuff set up, then you'll probably just be on the notes uh, gonna be syncing. And we'll show you here how when I start a, a file on the, the small one, the big one's gonna show up and I can edit both devices, sync it, and it will it'll transfer. So those are a couple of the settings, kind of the things that you need to have in order to make this all work together. So I'm up here on the small one, up here in the press box, to start a new file, hit the add notepad, I'm going to change this name, and I'm just going to change it to game one, hit OK, I'm going to add a template, I'm going to go here and go to my portrait templates. good one for and then I'm gonna hit sync when I hit sync we're gonna see this file pop up down on the other one get the check mark so I know it's synced so my coach down there should see it maybe I want to draw an odd front here and I'm gonna hit sync again and as I hit sync, now maybe I have a question about where the backers are. So I'm gonna get on the headset, I'm gonna say, hey, draw where those linebackers are at. So my coach down the sideline is gonna draw the backers. He's gonna hit sync on the side on his toolbar. Can even communicate with me on when he does that and when he gets the check mark on his. And there we go. So now I understand, oh, that's what they're doing or whatever. So maybe we're working on an offense and we're gonna run a quick speed option maybe. Pitch to the running back off that blitz. But maybe that coach doesn't like that idea. Maybe he thinks we should go the other way. So he can even erase what I have drawn with the back of his stylus, draw it maybe on the other side, speed option going the other way away from the blitz. And when he hits sync, and then up here on mine, again, once he syncs it, then I will see the play that he's thinking about running. Now I can understand what he wants to do a lot better now. You can also add another page. So this is page one of one. 
So now let's say I just want a little different template. So now I'm gonna add a page. I'm gonna hit the plus page. So I'm on page two and I'm going to add a different template on this one. So I'm gonna hit this. Maybe I'm gonna go to, uh, I got some ideas for like, um, you know, some, some other kind of run ideas. And so I'm gonna hit this. When you add another page, it does maybe take a little bit longer to sync because it's syncing not only the page, but also the image on the page. So you might give it a second. And now maybe I'm gonna draw up. Maybe a blitz I wanna look at doing. I'm gonna hit sync on page two. And so that coach down the sideline should now also be able to go to page two and see the blitz, see the stunt. Maybe change where the tackle is going. Maybe instead of going to the far A gap, maybe he wants to just have him go slant into the B gap. And he would hit sync again. And then when it sinks to his, it sinks to mine. And then I'll see that reflection there. And so we will be on the same uh, you know, understanding up on the press box to the sideline as we talk, as we draw. And again, we're gonna be able to go through multiple pages. So that is uh, just highlighting some of the basic features of the syncing between the press box and the sideline and showing it on a, a mini and a large, but again, this could be any combination. It could be a, additional uh, coach pads all together.